progress. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Prophetic Lifestyles with Bernard Bolton. I want to ask you, as you are watching the video, please consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and then sharing it with others. And so our purpose for being here is to bring people into a prophetic reality so you can walk out the ability of knowing how to hear the voice of God, how to operate in the spirit, in the move of the spirit, and then how to touch other people's lives through your gifts. Tonight, I want to talk about the word of knowledge, the, the word of knowledge. I was, um, I was working a job last night, having worked third shift uh, since I left South Carolina, but I had an assignment and I had to go work uh, third shift, which is from midnight to eight o'clock in the morning. And I met a, I met a gentleman and uh, a lot of times when I meet a person for the first time, uh, the Lord will start, the Holy Spirit will start, uh, rather Holy Spirit will start downloading a word of knowledge about that person to me. Uh, sometimes I'm able to deliver it. Sometimes I'm able not to. Sometimes it takes a while. But I met a uh, met a gentleman. He's he's old, he's younger than me, and immediately the Holy Spirit began to give me <clears throat> a word of knowledge about him. It would only be a few hours later when where we had the opportunity because we were lar largely. Uh, he was training me because I've got to go back to that same assignment uh, this weekend. And uh, so he, he began to open up to me. One of the things that caused him to open up to me is when he discovered that I was an apostle or I was apostolic. He saw something in my phone that had the word apostolic. And he said, oh, you're an apostle. And I said, yes, sir. And then I began to speak to him about my journey out of the traditional denominational church. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're, you're the kind of brother I can embrace. And so we had some similar uh, growing up in the same denomination, same denominational church. And so then as we were talking, the door was open for me to begin to share with him the word of knowledge that I'd heard the Holy Spirit. And when you're operating with the word of knowledge, all the word of knowledge is, is Holy Spirit is giving you information about that person. It may be about an experience in their life. It might be about them personally. Uh, in this instance, the whole Holy Spirit had given me a specific, a specific word that identified him as a person. And so when I spoke the word to him, he began to share with me how another person, very important person in his life, had shared the same thing that I was sharing. And so we continued to talk, and it was just a great uh, opportunity. Now, because I am apostolic, not just because I'm an apostle, but because I'm apostolic, one of the things that happens in the life of the apostolic is there is a sending dimension in our life where we are sent into a situation. Now, last night, I wasn't feeling that great. I didn't want to be at work at midnight to eight o'clock a.m. But uh, but then after talking with um, uh, this, this young man, I knew that I had been sent there to meet him and to impart into his life what the Lord had for me, even uh, relating to, um, because I had a few other words about him and I was able to bring clarity. He says, you're really uh, confirming some things and you're helping me to see clearly some things. He is a tremendous young man, but, um, but as uh, when you are sent, okay, there will be an opportunity for you to operate in the grace or gifting that's on your life. Because I am a prophetic apostle, I'm prophetic and apostolic, uh, the Lord will often give me a word of knowledge. 
And in the giving of that word of knowledge, it doesn't so much elevate me, even though uh, the gentleman, he, he appreciated me, but it does elevate God. And it says to the person that you're giving the word of knowledge that God cares about this person. Or why would God give you information about someone that you don't know? I've never seen this gentleman, just met him last night, don't, uh, don't know anything about it. But I was able to share with him and it was an accurate word. And so I love words of knowledge. I love receiving them, but then I love releasing them. So as apostolic people, I want to speak because I, the, when the Lord told me to do this video, he says, many of my people are waiting to operate in their gifts in a church. They're waiting to speak to people in a church or speak to leadership because they see their gifting as an opportunity to build a platform. But the Lord says in this kingdom season, because we're in a kingdom season, we're in a pace uh, season, the Lord is really moving from the church. When I say he's moving from the church, I mean he is moving away from the traditional church. He's not moving away from his people who are the church or the ecclesia or the community but he is moving away from that traditional place. So while many of you are waiting to operate in your gifts in a place, the Lord is saying, I'm ready to send you into places. He sent me to this place and I, it was a long drive from my house, but I was like Jesus in the presence of Nicodemus last night. I was like Jesus at the Samaritan well waiting for the woman to appear. So I had to make some adjustments. I had to accept the job. I had to get up uh, at night when I'm normally going to bed, I had to get up, I had to get dressed. Then I had to drive, it was a long drive. Just to meet this, this brother and to connect with him and to give to him the word of knowledge. And so was it worth it? Yes, it's always worth it when we are being sent by the Lord to fulfill the gifting and calling that is on our life. We're in a new day. And for many of you that have a call to ministry, and I am a, I'm a mentor to those who have a call to ministry, to vocational ministry, but also to those who operate in the house, but also to those who operate in the world. We're in a new day and you should be always ready to be sent by the Lord to go and release what the Lord is communicating to you. It's a new kind of ministry. It's a, it's a new kind of life, but it's the kingdom and the Lord is moving his people from places to places to places from people to people to people. You may have to travel 40 minutes, 40 miles, 400 miles just to meet with one person and to operate in that person's life. That is the apostolic. That is the prophetic, all right? God bless you. Thank you for watching. So appreciate you for your support. And we'll be back. Shalom.